Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Tech Control. Columbia Class Why the U.S. Navy's $347 million missile submarine has to have problems. During the Cold War, the U.S. invested heavily in advanced weapons programs like the Seawolf class submarine, designed to counter the Soviet naval threat. With the collapse of the USR, many such programs, including the Seawolf class, were curtailed. Only three of the planned 29 Seawolf submarines were built due to high costs and changing geopolitical realities. These submarines, which cost $5 billion each, featured advanced technologies and capabilities. However, the end of the Cold War and subsequent defense budget cuts rendered the program less essential, leading to its cancellation in favor of the more cost-effective Virginia-class submarines. During the Cold War, the U.S. spent indulgently on weapons programs. But once the USR collapsed, U.S. taxpayers balked at the idea of maintaining their Cold War force structure. Many weapons programs were canceled or suspended in their infancy, like the Seawolf-class submarine, of which only three were made. Yet, had the USR endured, the cutting-edge Seawolf likely would have been produced in higher numbers. The Cold War pitted the world's two great nations, the USA and the USR, against one another in an exhaustive arms race. On land, air, and sea, the superpowers dashed to create and produce preeminent equipment the urgency and tempo of the weapons development, the kind that only existential conflict can inspire. Raising the stakes of the conflict was the fact that both nations possessed nuclear weapons. Indeed, for part of the Cold War, were the only nations that possessed nuclear weapons. Accordingly, each nation placed a particular emphasis on enhancing their nuclear triad. However, by the 1980s, the Soviets who had received significant aid from both the Japanese and the Norwegians were able to improve significantly quieter submarines the Akula class, which featured a two hulls and a quiet seven-bladed propeller. U.S. observers found the Akula troubling, for the Akula was quieter even than the U.S. Navy's preeminent Los Angeles-class submarine. The Seawolf is a nuclear-powered fast-attack sub that cost $5 billion per unit in 2018 dollars. The mass price tag resulted in an impressive vessel, bigger, faster, quieter, and more heavily armed than the preceding Los Angeles class. Naturally, as an enhanced addition to the U.S.'s nuclear triad, the Seawolf can carry up to 50 UGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missiles. For guidance, the Seawolf relied upon an ARCI-modified and BSI-2 combat system that featured a spherical sonar array, towed array sonar, and wide aperture array. In naval circles and defense analysis, the decision not to build more Seawolf-class submarines has often been cited as one of the U.S. Navy's most significant strategic missteps. Originally designed during the Cold War, the Seawolf-class was intended to be the premier submarine of the U.S. fleet, boasting advanced capabilities that far surpassed its predecessors and competitors. Commissioned in the late 1980s, the Seawolf-class submarines were engineered to be faster, quieter, and more heavily armed than the Los Angeles-class submarines they were meant to replace. They featured advanced sonar systems, an increased torpedo loadout, and the ability to operate at greater depths. The Seawolf-class submarines were intended to give the U.S. Navy a critical edge in underwater warfare, capable of outmaneuvering and outgunning potential adversaries.